Okay, so the most important thing um, to realise when you're when you're sharpening, um, lots of different woodworkers will give you lots of different advice, but all of those sharpening systems are doing the same thing, and all of these different abrasives do the same thing, they scratch the metal away. So whatever abrasives we use, they're all doing the same thing, they're um, scraping away metal. So when we use uh, abrasives, then they create a scratch pattern and a thousand grit, which is quite a coarse abrasive, leaves a scratch pattern in the metal, something like this. Then we use a, a finer abrasive, something like a 5,000 or 6,000 grit, and that leaves a scratch pattern. It removes the peaks and grooves of the coarser grit and leaves a scratch pattern like this. And now we come along with a really fine abrasive, something like Autosol Metal Polish um, or a, or a 15,000 grit stone and that leaves a scratch pattern like this. Now this to the, to the naked eye will look like a complete mirror polish but under the microscope it's a very fine scratch pattern like this. Okay so the types of edges we use for woodworking are what we call zero ground, they come right to a point, of two flat surfaces coming right to a point. When the edges become damaged, then it's this bit at the end here. Generally, we've broken the edge there somehow, it could be just a chip or the edge rolled over or whatever. To get a new, um, a new edge, we've got to remove metal from both these surfaces till we get down to this point here. Um, to get to a new edge. The most common fault with, uh, with sharpening is people remove metal but don't remove enough to get right the way back to a new edge here and leave a little bit of the damaged edge still behind. So you've got with the coarsest stone you must remove enough metal here to get back to a new edge. So the main choice is to find something that works for you. Um, all of our granddads used these natural stones, um, natural oil stones, and you can get really nice oil stones going around um, shopping around car boot fairs and things. A good uh, way to choose is look for nice boxes. If they uh, took the effort to make a nice box for it, it's probably a nice stone inside. Um, but they can be a bit messy to use using the oil on them and things. Some people like using diamond stones. This is a very hassle-free, um, they're very easy to maintain, but they tend to be quite coarse and it's not easy to get really, really fine ones. Um, my two f most favorite methods are either Japanese water stones, which this is what I use personally and they're really, really nice. These ones are called Shapton stones. Um, they're quite expensive, this is a thousand a 6,000 and a 15,000 Shapton stone, that's what I personally use. Um, but there's a, a brand called King brand stones, water stones, which work nearly as well. Or the cheapest option, which I'm going to show you, um, which is just a few pounds, is this, which is um, emery paper. Uh, this is actually sticky back paper that I buy. You just cut a piece off, peel the back off and stick it to um, a piece of wood, flat planed wood or MDF and you can get it in various different grits so I have an 800 grit for my course, 1200 for medium and 2500 for the fine and that makes a really good sharpening block for sharpening your axes, your knives or anything on. Um, whichever stone I've used on the knife, the final thing that I do is I hone it, with, I polish it with a very, very fine polishing compound and I use this um, Autosol Metal Polish which you can buy at B&Q or Holfords or anywhere where they sell um, metal polishing stuff. It's a very fine chrome polish. I spread that on a piece of MDF and I use that for giving the final polish. Um, the last thing I've got on here is this, which is a, a very cheap diamond stone. I use that for very coarse 
work if I've got a big nick in a knife or an axe then I can use that before I use the stones and the other thing I use it for is for flattening the stones with when they've become dished or uh, then you need to cut the stone back all the time with something and that these cheap diamond sharpeners are good for that job.